black pepper. Now, I'm just going in and just adding a little bit at a time. And I'm going to keep trying it. up on the channel please check that out like subscribe comment let us know if you have ever made a deer dip what would you put in it or a regular dip what do you put in it let us know what are those what are those well these are some rabbits that we killed uh, don't give me the line when they were killed but um put them inside the freezer and now we're gonna unthaw them and y'all you've been watching the bow show checking in and tuning in i wonder can someone tell me who told me this recipe that i'm going to do today stay tuned someone might get a free gift what will that gift be someone can tell me what recipe I'm doing who stated this recipe on which episode on the okay show. so one of my rabbits that was in one of those bags so both bags one of the bags that bigger bag it had about three rabbits in there I've only four rabbits in there these rabbits they didn't got shot to pieces they kind of like <laughs> they're not four rabbits so I only used two of the rabbits from that bag, which are these two. And then that one single bag only had this big rabbit in there. So I'm gonna use him. So I'm gonna use a total of three rabbits. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm gonna need four, I mean, eight red apples. I'm gonna get two cabbage, a green cabbage and a red cabbage and mix that up. Um, I have three rabbits soaking at the house, but I'm only going to use two of those rabbits after, like, you know, really going over how much is going inside this crock pot. Because, you know, crock pot bowl is not that big. Um, so, so far, I'm going to add, I'm just, I'm just going to tweak the recipe just a little bit. So, right now, I have some bell peppers. I'm not going to put all three in here. I'm probably just going to cut up probably the, just two. Um, this not going inside the, the rabbit cabbage, but I got me some blueberries. Blueberries is very good. It has great benefits, but I got a one yellow onion, which I have a half of yellow onion and a half of red onion still at the house, as well as I have a bag of red apples. You know, I'm just gonna get a bag instead of getting the eight apples because apples are good as well and I'm gonna eat on them. But y'all, there, I'm gonna take you over there. I'm gonna take you instead of talking about it. Okay, so as you can see, there's only red cabbage in my Walmart, sadly. So I was gonna get this big red cabbage, but last time I made cabbage for some odd reason, it turned blue, not for sure why that happened, but I don't want that huge red cabbage going inside this meal. So I'm gonna go to a different location and I'm just gonna get the rest of the ingredients and then we're gonna leave and go to another location. In this yard, they have the fat bag. So I'm gonna get a pack of fat bag so it can season my cabbage. Some of y'all may know this. Ah. Hey y'all, I just pulled up to Aldi's local Aldi's to see if they have cabbage because I'm only going for cabbage and we got Piggly Wiggly's down here but between it between us family and friends because we family and friends right I'm a little scared of Piggly Wiggly's 
I'll tell y'all that backstory later. But let me tell y'all be thankful that at least I found the green cabbage. I probably should have got a piece of that red, like a probably like a small red cabbage to kind of mix in there. But we're just gonna do all green cabbage today. So I'm gonna get three heads of cabbage. Three heads of cabbage because like my aunt said, cabbage shrinks when you cook it. This is what we're working with. And the rabbits. So I've already drained the rabbits from them soaking while I was in Walmart and all these. Um, I'm just rinsing them one more time in this cold water. I didn't show y'all, but when I um, had them soaking while I was at Walmart and all these, a little bit more of the blood was able to come out of it. So now I'm just, just rinsing them again in this cold water. Now, I'm gonna put it in some water with salt and lemon, and then I'm gonna chop up my bell pepper and get a couple of pieces of my fat back. We're gonna okay, so we're doing this together. This is my first time doing this recipe, so you guys, y'all are learning with me. Okay, so these are my Is it recorded? <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm trying out this new like camera stand since I don't have my camera my cameraman here for me. These are my cabbages. These are how big they are. much because I'm not making slaw. 
but I just want to chop it up a little bit. Okay, so this is the last half of my cabbage, my second cabbage. And you see how, oh, I'm losing some of my cabbage. Hold up, y'all, one hand thing. Pick that up, five minute rule. But um, you see how it's kind of full. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and do the recipe with two cabbages. Um, you guys will know when I know if I'm gonna add that third cabbage. We're learning together, y'all, we're learning together. We are learning together. Comment below if there's another way that you soak and clean your vegetables. I would like to know. I'm learning with you guys. So we can learn together, bring each other up together. We educate in the grow. All right, so we got that soaking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut up my apples. Okay, y'all, so I got my eight apples, two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna clean these apples and then I'm gonna chop them up. Who did that? Y'all, these red apple taste so good. Woo. So for this, I would say, have you... Yeah, I know y'all seen it a little bit. All right, so I got the rest of the cabbage out. Yes, I know this is a uh, something for cakes. Um, I haven't gotten to baking cakes yet, but uh, I told y'all I was washing dishes. Don't judge me, I'm human. But I got all the cabbage out. Now we're about to start our layering. It's okay to have some little remain remainders of cabbage inside it's okay it's okay y'all okay so the guy stated put the cabbage i mean put a whole rabbit at the bottom so we're going to use this rabbit is pretty bigger so we're going to use this rabbit right here wait we're going to use this one right here we're going to put him at the bottom so i'm going to like open his chest a little bit. I'm gonna lay him at the bottom. Like that. And then we're gonna put some cabbage. And we got a lot of cabbage. Crock pot ain't that big, ain't it? Cabbage, apples. Bear with me, I'm doing one hand right now. Should have separated the onions and the bell peppers. We're gonna do some onions. That was almost all my onions. Hold up, y'all. I gotta get the bell peppers out. One handed. Okay. Sit you down right here. Stay right there, y'all. Bear with me. Let me get a spoon. I got a little spoon. And I'm gonna get my bell pepper that's at the bottom.
Now, the bell pepper and the onions, this is for seasoning. The bell peppers, the onions, and this fat back is for seasoning because I did not do, like I said, I didn't soak my rabbit. I'm not for sure what I can soak my rabbit in. Please comment below, you guys, and let me know what, what are some things I can soak my rabbit in. I'm gonna do, this fat back is salted, so I'm not really, I'm not gonna add any seasoning to it. I'm gonna put three pieces of fat back right there. I'm gonna put four. I'm gonna put four pieces of fat back right here. And let's see if we can get another layer, cause that look like that's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do this rabbit, this bigger rabbit. Spread them out on top, kind of have them sitting. Dang, y'all. See how I got them sitting? He kind of like chilling right there, you know, he chilling. All right, let me get my big cabbage. Oh, I feel like I'm about to make a mess. Losing cabbages, losing cabbages. All right, so, like I said, y'all, we landing together. Okay, so I put some cabbage there. Let me add a couple of apples on top of here. Y'all, I don't know how this is gonna come out. We gonna find out together. Hey, wherever I messed up at, let me know. Let me know. I like criticism. I can take some criticism. I can take some honesty, okay? I am not afraid of someone telling me when I am in the wrong. Because how am I going to learn? How am I going to know for the next time? If I don't, if I'm not able to accept it, you know? You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to concentrate, so if that didn't sound right, forgive me. Don't charge it to my mind, charge it to my, don't charge it to my heart, charge it to my mind. I'm trying to focus. Okay, and then I'm gonna take two, I'm gonna take, I don't wanna be too, too salty, y'all. I'm gonna just take two pieces of fat back. I'm gonna take one more, one more, one more piece of fat back, one more piece of fat back. So that's a total, I put four, five, six, seven. That's seven pieces, sorry y'all, I don't know what, I, just one hand thing. So I put seven pieces of fat back in this. Now we all know the cabbage cooks down and it's gonna shrink. So there we go, right there. Um, I didn't use this third rabbit. I'm gonna put it up and see what I can come up with to cook that rabbit and those other two rabbits that was in that bag. So what I used is, I got this much cabbage left. I'm gonna see as the cabbage shrink if I can add more to it. But for right now, we're just gonna go with this. We're just gonna go with this. I'm gonna come back and show y'all if I add any seasonings, like any pepper. I know I'm not gonna add salt because this fat back is salted and you know pork always have a lot of salt in it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna check back in. I'm gonna cook this on, I'm gonna show y'all. Hold up y'all. lid don't even sit on it. Dang, I didn't add no water. All right. We're gonna add, cabbage makes its own water. First of all, we're gonna put it on low. We're gonna start it on high because I got all that cabbage left and I wanna see if I can at least get a little bit more cabbage, kind of a half of that bowl of cabbage in there. I wanna see if I can, because I mean, it's a lot of rabbit in there. I believe it's a, you know, I wanna balance out the meat with the vegetables in here. So hold up you guys, let me get a cup of water to put in there because you know, cabbage makes its own water. I don't wanna put that, that much water in there, but let me get a cup of water. So y'all, this is roughly, let me set it down. Three fourths of water, that probably is too much. That, that's sticking to the top. That's probably a little too much. Y'all, it smells good though. Come on, 
add my water in there. Put my lid back on. Oh, my fat bed fell off. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm cooking it on high. I'm going to come back and let y'all know how long I cook it on high for. And I'm going to show y'all how much it has shrunken down. But we're going to cook it for a total of eight hours. The guy said he cooks it for eight hours. So we're going to cook it for eight hours. But let me see. I'm going to cook it on high for an hour and we're going to come back. All right, stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. It's been an hour. It is actually 3.32. Um, this is how we look it. It smells so delicious, y'all. Like, so delicious. Okay, so as you can tell, I picked the lid up. The lid is almost closed. So I'm gonna keep cooking it on high. Um, I'll let you know when I, if I even decide to add any more cabbage to it. I don't feel like there's enough cabbage inside of it. Or maybe I'm just, we're gonna see. I'll keep y'all like notified, <laughs> but y'all, I'm ready to taste how this go. Hey, like what in the world? Wow. It just smells so good. Y'all just wish it was able to y'all was able to smell what I smell. Like I do, I do, I do. Mm. Alright, y'all, so see how the meat is falling off the bones we're just gonna grab them bones Okay, so since I'm going to add some vinegar in it, I'm just going to pour out a little bit of the juice. I don't know if y'all can tell how much juice is in here right now, but I'm going to pour the juice out into a measuring cup and tell you how much juice I poured out. So, I don't know if y'all can see that really well, but I poured out two cups and a half. This is like so terrible <laughs> so I put out two cups and a half this is what it looks like now 
still got juice in there. Still looking good, y'all. Let's add some seasoning. I'm gonna add some garlic first. Black pepper. Now, I'm just going in and just adding a little bit at a time and I'm gonna keep trying it to see if I got what I'm looking for. If I got to what I'm looking for. The taste I'm looking for. Just a little bit of that celery season. Not a lot. Don't want to overpower it. I like a little spice in my food. So I'm going to put this, these red peppers. Not that many. Mm, let me add some of this vinegar. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. It's early in the morning. It's 5 12. Mm. Just with those little bit of ingredients, that little seasoning, it tastes good. Mm. Mm. Now, if you wanted to add, like me, I don't taste any of the spice, so I will add some more red peppers. We'll just keep adding a little bit. I think I found another bone. Keep just adding a little bit at a time till you get to your flavor. Oh, that vinegar, that, mm. Y'all just don't understand. Morning. She got me guinea pig, y'all. If you don't see no more of the boat show in 2021, it was because of that rabbit cabbage. Oh, yeah. I can't move these dang on bones, man. Let me see if I can get some cabbage. Or a nice little piece of meat. Mm. Good flavor. Okay. Another little piece of bone. That's why your head shot a rabbit. So you ain't got to worry about all them bones and fragments. That rabbit won't head shot. Pretty good. Hit that thumbs up if y'all going to try this recipe. Get out of my face. I'm trying to eat. Mmm. 
I keep trying to chew. <laughs> It might get nasty on me. Mmm. Mmm. That's a little, little bitty, bitty piece of bone. I eat that. Ow! I <laughs> lied. <clears throat> a little fragment. How many bites is it going to take if I can get to a bite with no bone? Mmm. Mmm. That was it. That was it. No bones. 